Let us say W naught is the gross weight of the airplane or the aircraft. That means it has structure weight, payload, fuel, everything, right? And let W1 is the weight of aircraft without fuel. Please understand, in the gross weight, the payload weight, structure weight, fuel weight, everything is included. In W1, structure weight, payload weight, any other weight is included except the fuel weight, right? So I can write W1 is equal to W0 minus WF, where WF means fuel weight. So from here I can write DW is equal to DWF because I am pretty sure that I am not dropping anything out of the aircraft. The change in the weight of the aircraft is because of consumption of fuel. Fuel is burned, so weight has reduced. So this is equal to minus C P D T. So from here I can simply write D T equal to minus D W by C P. Again, I want to restress this P is the power available at the brake, not the power available, that is not the power extracted by the propeller. So if I want to now find out endurance, endurance will be 0 to E, total time dt, and during that total time, the gross weight, which is W0, and when the fuel weight is consumed, that is W1. W1 is the weight of the aircraft when no fuel, that means whole fuel is consumed. So I write minus dW by Cp. And we know that P is the power available at the brake, but power available for the airplane is nita into P. So I can write P is equal to P available by nita. This P I'll be using here. So now my expression for E becomes 0 to E dt equal to E, or E is all written is equal to minus dw by c into power available and the nita goes on top nita here now we know since we are talking about cruise and we know that power available equal to drag so this i can into v power available is drag into v so i can Substitute power available here, and I get an expression minus, this is W dot to W1. Again, I put here W dot to W1. Nita by C, DW by D into V. Okay? Now, what is V? From lift equal to weight, I know V equal to 2w by rho s c l. What is rho? The altitude at which the airplane is flying. C l is the C l cruise, right? Typical value of C l cruise for most efficient airplane will be around 0 0.2, 0 0.3. But if you are flying at a different other altitude for different conditions, the C l may change, right? So now I will substitute here value of v. So I will get minus W naught W1 nita by C into DW by D into 2W by rho SCL under root. For cruise, lift equal to weight. So what I will do, I will write this as minus nita by C W naught to W1. I will write dW by W. Since W equal to lift, I compensate this W by putting L and already D is here. So, and then I have 
under root 2w by rho s c l. What I have done? Since lift equal to weight, what I have done from here, I have added one w in the denominator and since lift equal to weight, I have multiplied by lift. So, expression remains the same, but this has given me an advantage. I have got an expression for L by D and here also there is a C L sitting here. Now, if I write further, if I further simplify, I can write E as 2 neta by C C L 3 by 2 by C D rho s by 2 to the power half w minus half where the w 1 to w naught. Please note that the order of integration has been changed to absorb this minus sign. It was w naught to w 1 now minus sign is absorbed. It is w 1 to w naught. So, if I expand it, I get an expression E is equal to neta by C, CL 3 by 2 by CD, 2 rho S to the power half, W minus half, W 1 minus half, W naught minus half. Please note that when we arrived at this expression, we have taken our neta by C outside this integration. We have assumed that there is no effect on C because of change in weight. Also, you should remember that C does change with the altitude, right? Okay. But here, for simplicity, we have assumed it to be constant. What is more important here? See, what we are seeing here, seeing that E will be maximum for a given altitude, given initial weight and, f and final weight or fuel weight, E will be maximum when C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum. Please understand this very important result which is also popularly known as Breguet relation it is very handy in the design process of an aircraft. What we are seeing here that E is maximum for maximum for propeller driven engine provided you fly the airplane such that CL 3 by 2 by CD is maximum. Are you familiar with this term CL 3 by 2? Are you familiar with this term? The CL 3 by 2 by CD is maximum and this is a propeller driven engine. Let us go back to power required versus speed graph. This was the point power required minimum and what was the condition? Condition was CL 3 by 2 by CD is maximum. Right? So, what is the understanding? That if I want to fly a propeller driven IC engine aircraft and if I want to have larger time in air or maximum endurance, I should fly such that C L 3 by 2 by C D is minimum, the C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum or in turn it means C L 3 by 2 by C D maximum, it means you are flying at C L equal to 3 C D naught by K. So, for a pilot he will be now flying at a C L which is a fixed number which depends upon the C D naught value of the airplane and K of the airplane. This is clear. Again, I come back here. If I want to have E max, I need to fly such that C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum. That in turn means I am flying at C L equal to 3 C D naught by K. And this is strictly for propeller driven IC backup 
engine aircraft. Now from endurance, now we go to range. We go to range. This is again range for which type of aircraft? This is piston driven, propeller driven IC engine aircraft, right? Fundamentally, what is range? Please understand, typically range means the total range from takeoff to landing. But here we are focused more, mostly on the range during the cruise, okay? So this is that way approximate, but very handy for designing an airplane. So for if it is a cruise, then range, I can find our small distance travel will be V into dt. That's the distance. So if I integrate this ds, 0 to range, it is equal to V dt. Now, question is, what is dt? We have already seen dt is minus d w by c to p. So I put it here, so this becomes minus v d w by c into p, again the weight from w naught to w 1. Here I can do little manipulation, first I will change the order of integration to absorb this minus sign, so I write w 1 to w naught. Then V for DW, I will divide by W and multiply by lift because lift equal to weight. And then here is the power that is DV by Nita. Correct? Why this term? We know that P available is equal to P into Nita. And here this term. This is the P which is at the break. So this P is equal to PA by Nita and PA is nothing but D into V. So D, A, D into V by Nita, right? This V, V gets cancelled. So what we are getting? We get range equal to Nita by C. See, there will be a C. Oh, there is another term C here. C into P. So C was missing here, so I put the C. So Nita goes on the top. So Nita by C integral and CL by CD and LN W naught by W1. Let us repeat here. DS is minus V DW by CP. That is equal to W1 to W naught. We have changed the order of integration and V and C, V by C, DW by W, I have put one W, multiplied by L, because lift equal to weight, it doesn't change. A P, we know DV by Nita, and this V and this V gets cancelled. So this Nita goes on the numerator, so I have got Nita by C. And here I have got L by D, which I can write CL by CD. So this is DW by W, and the integration of DW by W, by w is LN. When I put the limit, it comes to ln w naught by w1. Clear? Now, see for range, what is the message? For range, message is for given nita and c, range will be maximum when cl by cd is maximum. What is the meaning of that? We have already seen cl by cd maximum means. It is CL is equal to under root CD naught by K, or this is also a condition for thrust required minimum. Right? So if I want to fly for higher range for a given tank of fuel, message is very clear that for maximum range, I should fly such that CL by CD is maximum, or in turn, I should fly at a CL which is fixed given by C D naught by K under root. And the pilot will be flying at any speed at this CL so that lift equal to weight and he is having a cruise flight. Okay? So this covers our discussion on 
range and endurance for propeller driven IC engine. Next we will be talking about jet engine.